Boris Schlossberg, Managing Director of FX Strategy at BK Asset Management. Boris, good to see you. DraftKings, I, I just yes. want to say the, the one thing that really stood out to me is that uh, the CEO and the management is not pivoting on a path to profitability. They say the fourth quarter of 2023, where their competitors like Caesars and Penn are talking about whether they can be profitable in the fourth quarter of 2022, depending on what happens with Mattress Mac and his Astros bet. Would you would you bet on DraftKings? Look, the problem with the whole business is it's the United States is very much a piecemeal business, state by state approval of regulators. So it doesn't give you the economies of scale. Customer acquisition costs are very expensive in that business. So it's going to take a long time for them to really become profitable. However, there's one lottery ticket here, which is that California is doing Prop 27. It's expected to lose. But if it actually passes, if online betting passes in California, that's a two and a half billion dollar business, this stock will pop on that news next week. So if you're a punter in sports, you maybe want to be a punter in this stock as well. I would, be I would bet that it does not pass, but I would also bet that the fight is not over. Can you bet that bet on DraftKings? I, not legally. I don't think so. Not no. legally. All right, Boris, next up is Starbucks. All right, taking aside that, you know, venti 20-ounce double mochaccino with six whips that we all get every day, is it a good stock? It is a good stock. Two weeks ago, I was uh, bullish on it. I said it's a soft buy by selling puts on it. That turned out to be a very good idea. It's even better today because, obviously, they are enjoying price, the ability to pass on prices to the consumers. The consumer is really back post-pandemic. And most importantly, they have really acculturated the consumer to ordering ahead. This order of automation uh, movement, I think, has really improved their ability to service more volume and obviously to do it much more efficiently. Now, the tailwind here is if China opens up, that's going to provide them some very, very strong foot traffic in China. That should be very good for the stock. I still think it's more of a sell the put type of a situation because if China doesn't doesn't go, it could be a sell, um, a little bit of a profit taking. But overall, six to nine months forward, it looks like a very strong stock. All right, let's talk about Block. This is formerly Square. It posts a strong beat right. all around, and the stock is way up on yeah. that news today. Yeah. My, my favorite stock so far um, of all three today, the reason why is because they're building a fiercely loyal mom and pop customer base here and putting them all into the digital economy with very good tools, very quick reporting. And I think they're building a nice mode over here. Forget their crypto business. Just simply the square business here could grow at double digits. Stock's been pounded to death. So it has tremendous possibility here to go maybe to a 70 over the next six months. So I think to me, this is one of the strongest secular growth trades uh, that you can find in the market. Obviously, you can have consumer slowdown on the macro picture, but on a secular basis, this is very much a strong buy. In my hey, opinion. Boris, great to see you. Thank you. Have a good weekend. All right, coming up, the answer, what you said. We asked a bunch of you on the Twitter, what would you do if you win that record $1.6 billion jackpot? Some of you had some really good answers. Some of you didn't. <laughs> We're going to highlight, like, the ones that we like <laughs> next. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.